past two weeks have been a whirlwind at the Capitol. It's Maya with Capitol Watch, and I'm here to give you the rundown on what's been happening at the Arizona State Legislature. Seriously, where do we even start? We are at a point in the legislative session when bills are quickly being rolled through the legislature and left on Governor Ducey's desk. SB 1456, the anti-LGBTQ bill, was vetoed, which was huge. This bill could have set a terrible precedent for how we view sex education in the state, and it's a great thing that it's done. A bill that had a lot of drama surrounding it also is SB 1485. SB 1485 would purge hundreds of thousands of voters from the permanent early voting list. The permanent early voting list was used by over 80% of Arizona voters in this last election, and now Arizona Republicans are trying to get rid of it. The drama at the legislature surrounding this vote was crazy. It was crazy. The sponsor, Senator Michelle Ugenti Rita, was furious because one vote was causing her bill to fail. Senator Townsend. Essentially, they're both rumored to be planning a run for the Secretary of State. So out of pettiness, Senator Townsend killed Senator Udenti Rita's bill. But as we've said before, nothing is dead until signee die. The final update we have on bills from this week is on SB 1457. This bill is one that we've talked a lot about in our updates and even at one point believed was dead. However, SB 1457 was officially signed by Governor Ducey earlier this week. This piece of legislation will have a major impact on how reproductive health care is accessed in our state. We honestly don't know what's happening exactly with this legislation, but we can expect upcoming lawsuits. We urge you to stay involved and continue speaking out on reproductive rights issues in Arizona. That's it for this week. Make sure to follow us on our socials for live legislative updates as they happen. And go to progressarizona.org to sign up for our newsletter and to get more updates than what we cover here. <laughs>